One of the comments I get a lot of are people telling me they want to live in Japan. And since it's the new year, I thought I'll make this video to help you get a little bit closer to your goal. With that being said, I think a great first step of moving to Japan is to study at a language school. So I decided to check one out in Tokyo and talk with some of the students about their experiences at language school. I feel like I'm back in school again. Especially like with my backpack. <laughs> you know, when you have that dream, you want to live in Japan, come to Japan. But when you're here, you know, it seems like the goal is so far away. Yeah. So do you have any advice for them? I would say, I was saying before, like it's not that hard. It sounds really big and scary, um, but it's not. I came here with no language skills. So many new experiences you maybe would not would have never done yeah. in your life. So usually Japanese language schools, the classrooms are set up like this in buildings. So let's go inside and see what it's like. All right, you've got the bins here. This is the teacher's room, however, as you can see, no teachers are here, so... I can hear the students and the teachers having class. And I guess these are like the notices. You've got notices here that help you out with, you know, your life in Japan, getting set up and everything. You've got community notices. You've got part-time job listings up here and I think that's great. They have events here that you can join maybe in your free time so it's good to kind of get to know the locals, get yourself involved in the community and everything. Let's take a peek inside the classes and maybe we can talk to some students and ask them about their experience here. Please tell me like about why you guys are here in Japan mm -hmm. and why did you guys choose to study at a language school and not, I don't know, do an exchange or anything else? I just wanted to learn Japanese the fastest way possible, so mm -hmm. I thought the best way would be to come to Japan, learn it um, in the country. Uh, exchange for me is not just for my age. <laughs> uh. and, well, because I'm uh, I graduated for master degree already, oh, so okay. I just want to come to Japan and study some other thing that I want to study. Right. Yeah, and because I want to study there, so I have to do, just study uh, Japanese first. I wanted to do a gap year, mm. and I don't want to go like to Australia or USA. <laughs> I wanted to <laughs> like go to average. an Asian country, yeah. Mm. I thought like Japan is a very interesting country. Mm -hmm. It's like very traditional, but also very modern. They just don't have so much time so I wanted to improve very fast um. and so I wanted to do intensive uh, Japanese learning and this was like the best. I had not studied Japanese at all. Oh, I'd just done hiragana and katakana before I came to Japan mm -hmm. and I just came to Japan on a working holiday visa. Okay. So I spent a year um, on my working holiday visa and then decided to go to Japanese language school. Okay, um, why is that? Um, I think I would like to live in Japan maybe long term, right. so um, yeah, you really do need Japanese if you want to live here long term. I mean, unless you want to teach, you can kind of teach English, but right. anything else you do need Japanese. I think if you're going to do self-study, I mean, some people can do it on their own, but it's pretty hard, and so I just thought just every day for a year or a year and a half, um, it's going to probably be the quickest way to do it. So for me, when I was in France, I never learned Japanese at all. I didn't know anything before coming here. Initially, I planned to stay only six months right. here at the school, just learn the basic mm. to be able to talk to people. And then I wanted to travel travel around yeah. with my Japanese knowledge. Right. But finally, kind of fell in love with the country. I'm like, okay, I need to learn more. Maybe I'm going to stay here for mm. uh, a longer time. What do you enjoy about language school the most? Um, it's like cool meeting people from all over the world and have like cool community teachers try to make it very fun with games and oh, that's cool. the teachers yeah. also nice. They're oh, really? really nice. They're yeah. like friends. Oh, yeah. that's and nice. We also yeah. do some activities with them. Like going hiking on a mountain yeah. together oh, that's or very nice. going to a tea ceremony. Yeah, I think if you come to Japan by yourself and you know, you don't have like a community. It's kind of kind of lonely, yeah. right? What's like the age range of your classes? 18 years old mm -hmm. to 40 years old. I think that's a good thing about being in a language school because there's no age limit. 
The average age is like uh, 18 to 24, mm. but we have like some people that are much older. Like in yeah. my class, there are two people. One is uh, one Chinese girl, she's 40, right. and one guy is uh, from Russia and he's over 30 right, so it's yeah. very mixed and yeah. it's sometimes uh -huh. very cool like uh -huh. to get in contact with people mm -hmm. you normally wouldn't meet so what does the intensive course like focus on um it the difference between intensive and conversation is that intensive has a lot of focus on kanji whereas conversation of course i don't believe you learned kanji uh -huh. and it's mainly just like they don't do a whole lot of uh, writing, I right. think. It's mainly just like talking, learning how to speak Japanese. Ah, uh, so more like practical... Yeah, practical right, use right. of it. Whereas we learn um, kanji, writing, listening and speaking. So what's your like typical one day like? I work like three mornings a week. You so, work? Oh. Yeah, so I have work in the morning from like 9 to 12.30. Yeah. And then come here, 1.30 to 5. Right. Go home, do homework. What time yeah. does school start? 1.30. The intensive course is always in the afternoon, so oh. it's always at 1.30, yeah, but the conversation course starts at 9. Start at 9. Uh, so it depends on your course. Yeah. Oh, okay. 1.30, you can sleep in. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you start 1.30, and then how long are the classes? It's, after, uh, it's till 5 o'clock. Yeah, it's more so like two 10-minute breaks in, in between. <laughs> Wow, that is that is intense. Now I, I know I get why the name is called yeah. intensive course. And then like af after classes, what do you do? Um, Finishes at five. You're like hooray! Yeah, mm -hmm. go to a cafe, get some homework done. Or mm -hmm. if it's a Friday night, sometimes go to the pub nearby. Ooh. And nearby? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bar nearby, like the Tokyo Dome. We go there sometimes with friends. Yeah. Ah, like with the class. Yeah, with the yeah. classmates. Cool, cool. Because I think, I mean, working in Japan, studying <coughs> in Japan, and also traveling in Japan, it's totally different. Yeah, yeah right? It's, 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 it's totally different. Thing. <laughs> How about like your courses? Are you enjoying the courses? And do you think that it can actually help you get to, you know, where you want to get to after this? Yeah, it's really helped me because, um, like, uh, before I came here, I was studying just by myself, mm. but it's not really organized, so when I came here, it's like step by step and right. learning it. I feel like they, at least for with kanji, they give you like um, a, a decent step as to how to study kanji. Mm -hmm. If you only rely on language school, mm -hmm. like I work with English speakers, I live with English speakers, mm -hmm. so I have to really get yourself out yeah, there, right. otherwise I just won't be practicing what yeah. I'm learning. So I think basically, you know, you come to school and then you kind of learn the fundamentals, exactly. learn the basics, and then you really have to make effort to apply that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Exactly. Do you feel like your Japanese has improved? Yes. 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 It has really, improved yeah. so Hello? much, yeah. I work in a bakery too. Oh, right now? Yeah, and so I can talk to my Japanese workers and I think it's very good like to get contact with yeah. Japanese people without Japanese skills, it's very hard sometimes. I can also talk now with my co-workers some more because they cannot speak English. When I arrive, I can have conversation, but mm. no, I'm living in a host family, uh -huh. so I can have conversation with them. Mm. You know, when you have that dream, you want to live in Japan, come to Japan, but when you're here, you know, it seems like the goal is so far away. Yeah. So do you have any advice for them? I would say, I was saying before, like it's not that hard. It sounds really big and scary, mm -hmm. um, but it's not. I came here with no language skills, like one little part-time job set up. I didn't have a house booked, I had a few weeks of accommodation plan and that was it. Right. And yeah. it's totally doable. If you're motivated and if you put effort in, I feel like everything yeah. will be fine. Yeah. Like, just gotta do it. Yeah. So many new experiences you <laughs> maybe would not would have never done yeah. in your life. Yeah. I think you like step out of your comfort zone, right? Mm -hmm. And then you challenge yourself, you grow, you learn yeah. about yourself. I would say talk to as many people as you can. Anyone who might have been to Japan or even right. been overseas, like around here. Right. And maybe look for an agent, that's what I did. I think right. I really recommend it. If you have someone who recommends the school to you, right. then that's obviously, you can Right, and I mean they can help you like going through an agent. They can help you uh, with your visas and like yeah, you know, with all that stuff. You, you don't have to do it by yourself. It's yeah, you always need that support. <laughs> so 
Saika, I heard from a lot of students here about your service and I think it's really good what you guys are doing and how you guys are trying to support and help students come to Japan and kind of make that first step. Mm -hmm. um, so could you just tell everyone a little bit about your service? So we help students find and apply to the right language course for them. Mm -hmm. There's over 500 language schools in Japan and it can be really hard to find the right one. And the last thing you want to do is go to a school that you don't like. You can do one week courses or up to two years on a student visa or longer than that if you have the right visa. We help through the whole process right. so the students, it's much easier for them. So this language school in this video is just one of the many, many language schools in Japan. Depending on which language school you choose, the courses, there's a bunch of courses, right, you can choose from. Yeah, so there's many different types of courses. They focus on different things, mm -hmm. like academic Japanese, conversational Japanese. So we help pick the right one that suits you. So I will link your service down below for those of you who need more help and support in making that first step to go to Japan. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you so much! The first step is always going to be the hardest and scariest. However, I think a language school is a great place to start off if you want to live in Japan. You can meet a variety of students from different countries and backgrounds, from business owners to students, and it's also a great place to network and find a job since you usually have the support from the school or your peers. And with over 500 language schools in Japan, each offering different programs such as JLPT, University, Kanji, Conversation, Manga, Culture. I'm sure you will find one that suits you. So I really do hope this video helps you. If you have any advice or just want to share your experience with others, leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video.